Did you know that Togo, one of the most famous sled dogs in history, was not suited to be a sled dog at first? In fact, he was a troublemaker, constantly attacking other dogs in the team and even the lead dog. Seppala, Togo's owner, gave him away several times, but Togo always came back on his own. This loyal behavior convinced Seppala to keep him. However, Togo was still difficult to train as a sled dog, and he would often chase deer or run around instead of focusing on his job. One day, Seppala left Togo in a place to stay, planning to come back for him later. But Togo broke out and followed the team, eventually finding them. Seppala decided to put Togo in the harness, and to everyone's surprise, Togo showed his true potential as a sled dog. He was a natural-born leader, and instantly became known as an infant prodigy. Despite his initial troubles, Togo became one of the best sled dogs in history. He proved his worth during the longest and most dangerous Great Race of Mercy, where he and his team had to travel over 300 miles through snow and ice to deliver medicine to children in Nome during a diphtheria outbreak. Togo led the team through blizzards and sub-zero temperatures, ultimately saving many lives. Sadly, Togo's glory days were short-lived. By the time he completed the Great Race of Mercy, he was already 12 years old. Four years later, he was euthanized due to intense joint pain and partial blindness. Nonetheless, Togo's legacy lived on, and he will always be remembered as one of the greatest sled dogs in history.